Hi, I'm Jorn from Chatomize and in this video I will show you how you can create an appointment chatbot by using ManyChat and Calendly. So now I am in ManyChat and we'll just create a new flow by clicking on new flow. We will choose the empty flow and we'll just call this appointment chatbot and click on create. So the first thing that we will do is ask the email of the user because we need their email for the appointment. So we can just click on this message block. We will select other as the content type. Then we will remove this first text element and then we can click on user input. And with user input, we can ask a value from the user. And in this case, we'll ask the email. So we just ask, what is your email? And we'll set the reply type to email. And if you're using ManyChat to mainly send your emails, you need to set it to a save email to system field, but I'm using email as a custom field. So I will just search for email. And then if you scroll down, you have the skip button text and you need to remove that. Because with the skip button text, people can skip this question and we don't want that people can skip this question. So we'll remove that. And then we will add a next message. Also select the content type to other and we will send them the link to your Calendly account. So we just type in, click on the button below to make an appointment. Then we can add a nice icon and then we can add a button with a calendar icon with make appointment. And this needs to link to Calendly. So if you go to your Calendly account, and then we can choose one of the meetings. So I'll just choose the 30 minute meeting and we can copy the link. And if we go back, we will set it to open website and here we can paste our link. But what we can also do is add the name and add the email. In this way, if people click on this button and they go to Calendly, their name and their email address is automatically pre-filled and this will highly increase the conversions that you get from your Calendly appointment booking system. So what we can do is add a question mark, type in name, then is, and then you can click on this button and search for first name. And then we'll add an and icon and then you can say email is equal to email. And then you can click on done. So what this flow will do is first ask the email of the user and when they gave their email, then can click on the button and when they click on that button, they will go to your Calendly agenda and they can book an appointment and their name and email address are already pre-filled. So they don't need to fill that in again. So now we can click on publish. So the next thing we need to do is connect ManyChat to Calendly. And we're going to do that by using Zapier. But before we're going to do that, we first need to create a custom field. So if we go to settings and then choose for fields, then we can add a new field, which we will call appointment date. And this is a custom field that we will use to store the date of the appointment. So we set it to type and just click on create. So the next thing we need to do is connect ManyChat to Calendly. And we are going to do that by using Zapier. So if you go to zapier.com and I already have an account and I'm already logged in, we can just click on make a zap. And then we need to add a trigger. So when will this zap start? And this zap starts when a Calendly event is created. So we will just search for Calendly. Choose the event, which is NVT created. Click on continue. Then we need to choose our Calendly account. So we just click on sign in to Calendly. And then we need to find our API key. So if you go back to Calendly and click on integrations, then we can just copy this API key and we will paste it over here. Be sure that you don't share this API key with anyone else besides yourselves because then they would have access to your Calendly account and that's not something that you want. So next thing is we need to click on continue 
And then if we go to Zapier, we have successfully connected Zapier to Calendly. So we can click on continue and test the trigger. So that's working and we can click on continue. The next thing we need to do is find the user ID of the ManyChat user by using the email that is provided through Calendly. So here we need to search for ManyChat and then we need to choose an event and the event is find user by custom field. Then we can click on continue and we are going to choose our ManyChat account. So I got multiple accounts and I will just connect Chatomize. And then we can just click on continue and we can set up the action. So we will choose as a custom field, we will choose email because that's the one we already set up in our flow. So in our flow, we already set up the email. So we need to use this custom field to check which user it is. Then we're going to use the invitee email that we got from Calendly. And this needs to be set to false. This means that if there isn't a match, so we cannot find a ManyChat user with this email address, then Zapier doesn't have to do anything. So that needs to be set to false. And then we can just click on continue. We will test and continue. So now we need to add another step and we will search for ManyChat and now we will change the custom field. So the custom field appointment date, which we made before in ManyChat, we're going to use that to trigger a ManyChat flow. So we'll choose the action event, which will be set custom field, click on continue, choose our ManyChat account, click on continue, and then we're going to set up the action. So the user will be a custom. And then if you click on this and click on show all options, you need to scroll down all the way to the bottom and then scroll up a little bit until you see user ID. And then we're going to choose the custom field appointment date, which we made before. And the value will be you can click on invitee created in Calendly, then show all options, and then the event start time pretty. And then we can click on continue. And then we can click on test and continue. And this is working. So what this app will do is when someone books an appointment with you, it will get the ID of the user in ManyChat based on the email we got from Calendly and if there is a match, it will set the appointment date to the date of the appointment, which was determined by the user in Calendly. So we'll turn this to on. So that will be working. So the next thing we need to do is create a flow that gives us a confirmation. So if we go back to ManyChat, we'll click on flows, and then we can click on new flow, again an empty flow, and this will be called appointment chatbot confirmation. So the first step of this flow will be a condition. So we can just click on this plus sign and then choose for condition. And we will add this as the first step and we'll remove this message. So if we zoom out a little bit, this will be a condition. And the flow will start with a condition that checks if the user is inside the 24 hour window. And if you're not familiar with the 24 hour window, I will add a link in the description to a blog article in which I describe it in detail. But it basically means that you cannot send messages to users who haven't talked with your chatbot in the last 24 hours. So we need to create a check on that. So we'll click to add a condition and then you say window segment, and this messaging window segment is recent interaction. So this will mean that a user is inside the 24 hour window. And then we can send the message. We will set the content type to other, and we will say, thank you for setting up an appointment. 
and then we can add the first name of the user we look forward to meeting you on and then we can set the appointment date so this is when someone is inside the 24-hour window and we can just copy this message and if someone is outside the 24-hour window we can use the confirmed event update tag so we'll connect it to the condition but instead of using the other content type we will use the confirmed event update and then we can click on publish what this flow does is that it will provide a confirmation once someone has created an appointment in Calendly and it doesn't matter whether the user is inside or outside the 24-hour window because if the user is inside the 24-hour window it will use the other content type and if the user is outside the 24-hour window it will use the confirmed event update tag. So you're always compliant with the Facebook rules. And the last thing we need to do is create a rule. So if we go to rules, click on custom rule, we will set the name of the rule to appointment set and then when this happens, so this is the trigger, when will this rule trigger? Well that happens when the appointment date is set. So we will set it to custom value at has changed and we will call this appointment date has changed to any value and when that happens the trigger will be start a flow and the flow will be appointment chatbot confirmation so we are going to select this flow save it and activate it and that is all working so basically what we do is we ask the user their email we ask them to set an appointment in Calendly then when an appointment is set in Calendly Zapier will make sure that the appointment date will change and when the appointment date field has changed it will trigger the confirmation. So this should be working so let's test this out. So go to appointment chatbot, edit the flow and I will just click on preview and then inside messenger it will ask what is your email, this is my email, then we can click on make appointment then I can just schedule an appointment. So I just choose a random time. And you'll already see that my name and my email is pre-filled. This all comes from ManyChat. Then we can click on schedule event. And then the event is scheduled. And this will trigger the rule. And as you already can see, thank you for setting up an appointment, Joran. We look forward to meeting you on this time and this date. So that's amazing and that is working. One quick thing to add, if you want to create this, you need a Calendly Pro account and you also need a Zapier Pro account. Because for Calendly, if you want to use integrations, you need to have a Pro account. And for Zapier, if you want to have multi-step steps, so if you have a Zap with two steps, then you can use a free account. But because we're using three steps, it is a Pro account. So that's what you need for this appointment chatbot and that's how you create one by using ManyChat, Zapier and Calendly. If you have any questions about this appointment chatbot or on how you can use Calendly, ManyChat or Zapier, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.